You know, we all want to be appreciated in life, don't we? I mean, that's right. People work for somebody else. You know, the poor people, I feel, because they, they have to wait for, like, one boss to come over and pat them on the head that they're doing a good job. That's only one person. Yeah. And if that person doesn't have a good day or something, who knows if they ever get that positive feedback. Because positive feedback is, is nourishment, you know, for us to continue on. We're all struggling in life, right? And, and we need that pat on the back in a way or some some you know, some way outwardly that shows, hey, what the hell we're doing is a pretty good job. You know? So if you're working at a big company and nobody really cares what the heck you're doing, that's hard to come by. And that's why this next video shows you about two guys <laughs> who, who was like that and said, hey, let's do something ourselves. You know? And what they did is took a jelly jar, <laughs> a really small little jelly jar, and turned it into a radio. And they got so excited about doing this thing. You know? And then they went on the internet, almost got $90,000 like nine eighty seven thousand dollars to go into production of this thing you know oh my gosh eighty seven thousand dollars but they were telling me you'll see in the video what was more gratifying than anything was 1500 people saying they did a great job hey this is a great idea i love what you're doing in life and here's money real dollars <laughs> what a better way to show somebody you're they're valuable huh you give them green you know not just a pat in the head you know <laughs> and he said gosh that's more rewarding than the money or anything to see that what you're doing is a value and they spent very little money none actually in marketing this thing or anything they just put it on a crowdfunding site you know and got like nine eighty seven thousand dollars i mean that's what we have the opportunity of all of us doing now before we all had to work for somebody else and hope that person was nice and appreciated what we're doing and you know that doesn't happen a lot of times you know and it's rare that happens then it's just one person here now they got 1,500 different people selling, telling them that. Man, wouldn't it be nice to wallow in that? Yeah, that's what's so nice. And, 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 yeah, and for no money to go on the internet and do this. That's cool, man. That's why I think the whole world is different now. And you could use it. So watch how they did it. Well, Spencer Wright, boy, <laughs> I don't know, I'm a big radio fan because I have a radio show, but I do, but you have one of the neatest things I've ever seen, you and your buddy, like a, he, he's a great school buddy that you're, you're working together on this thing, have something called the Public Radio, and actually the website is thepublicrad.io, so not .com, but .io to finish the word, the Public Radio, which is really cool in itself, but you guys from Brooklyn are too cool anyway, so it's, <laughs> <laughs> that's expected, I guess. But now it's a wonderful idea that you have this little thing in a, in a uh, jelly jar or whatever, a ball jar, a small little ball jar that is just one radio station, right? Yep. Click and play, click and play for the rest of your life and you move it, it's a little battery operator, nothing and cheap as heck. Why did you do this bloody thing? Well, we realized that we only listen to one station ourselves, right? We get up every uh -huh. single morning and we go over, we're making coffee or whatever. Right. We just turn it on, it's the same station. Yeah. And, you know, we have that relationship with our local stations and we realized if we're going to make our own radio, why are we going to have it have a tuning dial at all? It's just it's just more <laughs> money to put another knob there. So right. <laughs> now it's wonderful. And actually, to me, the jar, the, the ball jar, I mean, it is so, I don't know, it's so... Uh, God, authentic. It, 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 it's cool. You know, I mean, it, it, it leads leads so much authenticity to what the heck you are doing. I mean, I could imagine you two guys, you know, with your little kids down in the basement, your mother said, now, Spencer, what are you and what's your buddy's name? What are you doing down there? Zach doing down there? So alive. And, and yep. then you could have said, now, well, Mom, we're making money. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> and that's where this kind of stuff comes from, you two guys, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, I mean, we just, we were looking for something to put our skills towards, kind of looking for Christmas presents for family members or uh -huh. something like that, and thought, hey, well, we, you know, Zach has a really strong background in audio, in, in music, and uh -huh. sound. My background's more in hardware. We both kind of have an interest in electronics. 
And so we thought, hey, let's let's make something, right? You know, <laughs> and see if anybody likes it, right? <laughs> well, well, now you got like fifteen hundred people that love this thing, you know? yeah. And they're giving you money. You're on Kickstarter now, and you were going after for like twenty five thousand dollars, and you're over seventy thousand dollars already. I know. I think we're at seventy six now. Seventy six. Uh, wow. It's really incredible. We're we're. You know, we're not totally shocked, but we're surprised. Yeah. Right? Uh, <laughs> I mean, do you feel dumb? Why didn't you ask for more? Or? No, the, the thing is, it's actually great asking for less. You know, it, it kind of has this great thing where you can say, hey, we're 300% funded. Right? Ah, I you see. Know, so, right? so you uh, look smarter or more successful by doing yeah, that. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Aim low and then achieve yeah. <laughs> more. That's kind of what we were going for. Yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. And your folks, are they into this? Do they understand what the heck you're doing? Uh, you know, I'm not sure they understand all of it, but yeah, yeah. obviously they yeah. they're totally supportive, and you know, it's a, it's an interesting thing that you know we have, you know, it's it's not often, and and Matthew, obviously, you have a different experience, but you know, a normal person doesn't have all that many opportunities to have 1,500 people and, and I say, hey, I like what you're oh, doing. Oh, man, right? just <laughs> one person says that and I still love it. <laughs> yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Oh, no, you're right, and I think that's all of us in life. I think and that's what I saw with children, is having children for the first time. Boy, that's the one person that I will never be more important again to anybody else for the rest of my life. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. we work hard to try to get that feeling. Yeah. So I, I think you're so right. And, and to me, that's very insightful You know, for a young person. See, boy, I mean, to get that reassurance that what you, people showing you that, hey, you're valuable. Do something, yeah, you know, and, and you're doing it, and, and they show, and that's what to me I like about capitalism. They're putting out dough yeah. that really says you're valuable, man. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, and those people's hard-earned dollars, you know, that's yeah. the money that they worked for, yeah. and they're and they're willing to, to look at something that we dreamed up on a weekend a year and a half mm -hmm. ago and say, hey, that's cool. It feels absolutely great. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, I think, why we work so hard, you know, yep. is to get that kind of feeling. And that's why now it's easier to do. If you were a big, some big company making things, you're waiting for yep. one boss to maybe give you a pat in the back and that's it, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. And now you just run the internet and see, you get 1,500 pats on the back. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, the opportunity really is there. I mean, it, it was a lot of work getting the project and getting kind of our pitch down yeah. to the point where we felt comfortable to do that. But mm -hmm. then once you once you kind of cross that hump, uh -huh. then all of a sudden, yeah, you, you have you have a ton of eyes on you. We, we've had uh, tens of thousands of people wow. watch our video, which is just it's in, wow. surprising and incredible to us. So. And, and, yeah. and I don't think that you went to Hollywood and did some hundred thousand no. dollar production or something. No, we filmed it on our phones, you know. Oh, it's really? Like... You're on your phones. <laughs> well, see, what, I mean, what's happened, I see a lot because crowdfunding is getting more popular. It's sort of like it's an arms race on video production. You know, that, yeah, yeah. And which is yeah, I, I should be clear. We, had, we filmed the early version on our phones. Eventually, we had a friend help us. and He, has, well, he, so. he has a real camera, but, but even then, you know, it's, yeah, the production quality isn't what's, what's really yeah. important. What's really important is that you put yourself out there and you say, hey, I made this thing, mm -hmm. I believe in it, yeah. and I think that, that I'm good enough for you to trust me. Mm -hmm. And if you go out there and you're sincere about it, you know, mm -hmm. you might have some success with it, so. Did you have to spend other money on marketing or buying ads and stuff like that to get that? Not so far, no. Yeah. I mean, we, we put a lot of time into yeah. marketing and, and getting right. people's attention. And you know, time is money, but uh, <laughs> but dollars out of pocket dollars. Uh, you know? No, most of our dollars out of pocket were spent on the R and D. You know, we spent somewhere between five and ten thousand mm -hmm. dollars. That was just the last buying, year, so I'm just getting yeah over the past year and a half. And yeah. Yeah. Exactly, and a lot of that is tools, right? Mm -hmm. So you know, in order to build something like this, you need to buy some tools in order to help you do it. And mm -hmm. a lot of those things, you know, they're, they're general purpose things. They could, you know, if, see, if right. this radio hadn't worked, right. you know, we could have turned around and used them on something else, oh, right? <laughs> right? So now it, it, I should say, you know, we've spent, uh, you know, tons and tons of hours, thousands of hours on developing this, which is, a, which is a whole different thing, you know, and you never mm -hmm. get that time back. But the, right. the, the nice part is that, you know, you're spending it, you know, I spend it with someone that I care a lot about, my friend Zach, and, you know, we get to kind of, 
you know, hang out together and, and do something that's interesting and challenging. So it was but, great. But, but you're making a contribution. Like what better exactly. things do you have to do with your life? You know, sit and exactly. watch, you know, football or something? You know? Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> so, I mean, that's what we're here to do. And that's why I always felt that, that what we do with our time is the most precious thing we have. Yeah. Yep. And so you're spending your time to develop something, you know, that makes everybody's life more convenient or fun yep. or whatever, contributing to the rest of society. And... and it takes energy and commitment, you know, to get there. But once you have it done, that now you don't have to go to some fat cat to give him half the business or spend yep. a lot of money. You just go to the internet and, you know, yep. you Absolutely. see if you're worthwhile or not. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And you did it. Oh, wonderful, Spencer. Wonderful. I'm sorry Zach isn't here, but you know, yeah. <laughs> nice that you're there doing this and, and sharing it. And I think it's a wonderful idea. I'm a radio guy and I listen to one station most all the time. So it's natural for me. It's going to be a good gift and a great thing for myself, for everybody. And, and to get it, uh, you're on Kickstarter for a couple of weeks. Yep. Yeah, so you get a good deal there, and you can always find you on the public dot um, public <laughs> rad dot io. So public the public radio, but forget the dot com and use the io and radio as dot io. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find it. Don't worry. Take care, Spencer. Say hello to Zach. Great, Matthew. Thank All you. Right.